Between the gas station and the hardware store, there are all kinds of products with toxic fumes in our lives. Glues, oils, fuels, and even cans of spray paint contain chemicals which give off poisonous vapors that can cause brain damage, heart attacks, and even death. As sad as it sounds, some kids use these substances to try and get a cheap and often deadly high. But these aren't drugs. They are extremely dangerous chemicals that when breathed in are called inhalants. A better name for them is simply poison. I've never felt as dumb as I did after I huffed. Like when I would huff, that was when I felt just brainless. Inhalants destroy the brain. You lose yourself for a second, it's a terrible feeling. I do know that substances destroy the body and when you cut off oxygen to the brain, what you're doing with inhalants, like yeah, that's gonna happen. And my son is now a prisoner in his own life. Half a life. Ever see this symbol? This skull and crossbones acts as a warning label on thousands of household products that contain dangerous chemicals. When used properly, these products are helpful and make life easier for people, but exposure to their chemical fumes is dangerous. Breathing in these fumes can irritate your lungs, give you a headache, a rash, and make you sick to your stomach. That's because these inhalants are chemical poisons that are readily absorbed into the body where they can cause long-lasting damage. These fumes work quickly, entering the lungs, bloodstream, and the brain all in a matter of seconds. People who handle these chemicals have to be very careful to protect themselves, which is why most of these products come with clear warnings to only use in a properly ventilated environment. But believe it or not, there are those who purposely disregard the warnings in search of a buzz. And when inhalants are abused, they don't just ruin lives, they can end them. All drugs are chemicals, but not all chemicals are drugs. And uh, the chemicals that are in inhalant type products, furniture polishes and gasoline and paint thinners and spray cans of paint, that sort of thing, um, they're not intended for human consumption. One group of inhalants is called volatile solvents, stuff like gasoline, paint thinners, and lighter fluid. The word volatile comes from a Latin word which means to fly. And that's appropriate for these substances because they quickly evaporate from a liquid state and turn into a gas. They are easily inhaled by anyone close by. Proper ventilation and protective equipment have to be used to keep volatile solvents from damaging your mind and body. A volatile solvent is something that uh, is a liquid and the liquid has little molecules that don't stick to the surface of the liquid but break off and float up into the air and it smells. The solvents are called solvents because they're used to dissolve uh, uh, things like grease and oils and fats and things and of course you, your brain is composed of some of those and so they go into the brain and actually begin to dissolve some of the the materials of the brain that are composed of fat. That stuff is also affecting uh, your eyes and your mucous membranes in your mouth and your nose. And of course, you're going to have uh, irritability. You'll, you can burn your skin. You can have uh, uh, reddening of your eyes. You can affect how your eyes function so that you can't see straight, so you see double. Another category of inhalants is aerosols, like deodorant, hairspray, and spray paint. Aerosols don't fly into a gas, but have to be pushed first usually with a propellant, like gas that's under pressure. For people who don't understand the dangers, misuse of these products brings lung and brain damage, even death. Breathing in certain paints may have heavy metals like cadmium or lead in them, and you can get lead poisoning. Um, uh, lead poisoning can uh, affect the brain. It can paralyze the, the nerves in your arms and legs so that you have a weakness in your arms and legs. Then there are medical anesthetics. Gases like nitrous oxide, or as it's more commonly known, laughing gas. There's also ether, and in the old days, chloroform. These are drugs that trained medical professionals use to render a patient unconscious. Here's a question for you. Would you drink gasoline to get a buzz? Sounds pretty insane, right? Well, breathing in these chemicals gets the same poisons into your body, 
which raises the question, why? Why would someone use inhalants, poisons, to get high? Maybe to escape reality. Or maybe because they just don't know about the dangers. The inhalants are really a horrible class of substance. They are extremely intoxicating. They tend to be very disorienting to the individual. Typically, you'll see a marked state of confusion, disorientation. Folks won't know if they're coming or going. A lot of times, a person will feel disconnected from the world. Uh, just a general um, a heavy buzz uh, of a sort. And as I said, the onset's usually immediate, and the, um, the time that it lasts is not that long. And the sad thing with solvents is that a lot of time is the young, young children, 10 and 11, who start on these things because they're so convenient. Inhalants are very cheap and easily accessible. Uh, they're all over the home, uh, and many products contain abusable solvents. So certainly one factor is their, their availability. It's practically impossible to prevent the um, access to solvents. One of the critical things in terms of drug use is access. And for kids, inhalants may often be more accessible than other types of drugs. When inhaled, most of these chemicals immediately slow down how a person thinks, feels, and reacts to the environment that they're in. Inhalant abusers who sniff or huff these chemicals experience a change in their mental state and may have mild auditory and visual hallucinations, dizziness, or even unconsciousness. This is because most inhalants act as central nervous system depressants, which means they can slow down body systems. The typical inhalant gets breathed in into the lungs. It gets dissolved